What's going on guys, it's Pixelated, and you know what time of the week it is. We're gonna be looking at all the sneakers that are releasing for the rest of the week. We're gonna decide whether they're hype or dead, and let me tell you, this week is a doozy. There's so many sneakers releasing this week, I'm bound to miss a handful, but trust me, even if I do, there is just way too much to go around. It might just be too much for you two, or you might be able to handle it, whatever the case may be. We're looking at the sneakers releasing this week, and as you know, the sneaker industry loves to give you no surprises, they're the biggest gossip queen on earth, so we've got a bunch of saucy sneakers leaks for you as well. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that like button. If you enjoy the video at any point, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos. It helps the channel out a lot. And make sure to hit the noti bell so you can join noti gang and so you don't miss out on future videos. As always, we're going to get into the sneaker leaks first and then get into the sneaker releases. Trust me, we have some crazy ones this time around. Starting with the leaks, first and foremost, we've got the official look at the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red, which is nothing new. We've been hearing about these for weeks or months now. We've seen them, but now we've got an official release date. These these joints are dropping a whole month from now on November 28th, so if you're into this release, note that down on your calendar. The Air Jordan 1 Fire Red is one of the most popular retro colorways of this sneaker. It is also the unofficial Chicago colorway, so you know it's popping. I love this colorway as well, and hopefully we'll be able to get my hands on them when they come out. Next up, we have the Off-White X Air Jordan 4 in the red colorway. We first saw these in Virgil's MCA exhibit in Chicago. It was laid out with a bunch of samples that were work in progress and weren't meant to be released to the public, or at least that's what we thought. Of course, most of the shoes in that exhibit were truly unfinished samples and they're not going to be released to the public, but considering one of those shoes was the sale Off-White Jordan 4s, which did end up releasing to the public, it makes a hell of a lot more sense that these bread 4s are coming to the public. We've got a super short video of them in action, well, not really in action, but it seems to imply that these are releasing in fall winter 2020, which is literally any time now, so don't be surprised if we get some shock news that they're releasing in a week or two or three from now, although I feel like that might be a little too early. These are absolute hit. As a bread for guy, there is absolutely no way I'm not getting my hands on these. Actually, there is, because they're definitely going to be super expensive in the aftermarket, so if I don't get them, that's probably going to be the end of that. The next leak we have is this pair of Nike Dunk Low Pro Quick Strikes. Now, if you can't tell already, these have the mismatched asymmetric colorway where one side does not look the same as the other side. And the sneaker has all parts of the equation to be a juiced up, hyped up sneaker. The only thing that isn't really confirmed is whether it's a collab or not, but the way it's looking to me, just based on the fact that they have the symbols on the heel, I feel like this is going to be a collab. It obviously hasn't been confirmed just my guess. The color is nice on them, the material looks unique, and these are definitely going to be hype when they probably release in early 2021. Next leak we have is yet another Dunk. Nike is really flooring the gas on these Dunks, and this one is known as the Nike Medium Curry Dunk Low. Now I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm obligated to like these because, you know, they're called Curry, I'm brown. Does that make sense? Is that a stretch? Is that not appropriate? I think it's appropriate. But of course, even without the medium curry title, these are super nice. The suede has that super premium hairy look, and even the white panels look like they're suede too, which isn't common, but it looks really nice here. These are gonna be hype when they come out too. Now, I was not joking when I said Nike's flooring the gas with these dunks. At this point, they're basically fueling the Nike dunks with rocket fuel the way they're launching them into existence. This leak is also a pair of Nike dunks, who would have guessed it? This time it's the Bodega X Nike Dunk Highs. Originally, they were showing two dunks to be released in this collab, but so far I've seen on an article that they crossed out that one of them is not releasing, so I don't know if one is confirmed to be releasing and the other is maybe potentially planned for later down the line, or if it's just a mistake on the article's part. The one that is confirmed to be releasing is this brown pair right here. It's this Dunk High with a jeweled swoosh instead of the typical leather wraparound swoosh. It's got these birch and rustic color tones and unique material panels and are really one of the most out there Dunk collabs I've seen in a while. As a guy who's usually into the browner, chocolatey toned shoes, this shoe fits right in that category. And with the jewel swoosh, and this interesting stitching on the toe box and the moccasin like stitching on the ankle. The details on these are intense. These are going to be ridiculously hype when they release. All right, that's enough for the leaks. Now onto the releases. I feel like Nike has released these again and again in the past few Halloweens, but yet again, we have the Nike Air Force One low in this orange skeleton colorway. It's spooky season and for whatever reason, people love these shoes. I gotta say I'm already into very few Air Force One lows and this definitely doesn't make that list. I love that vibrant pumpkin tone orange, but that anatomical skeleton footprint on the shoe, I could really not care less for it. Why would I want that on my shoe? I'm not planning to wear a pair of shoes just for Halloween and then store them in the closet. It doesn't matter what I say though, I would like them without the skeleton foot x-ray, but 
I understand the theme and what they're going for. The Skeleton Orange Air Force One Low is releasing on October 28th for 130 US dollars. And with the addition of the glow in the dark midsole, these shoes are going to be just as hype as they've been in the past. If you thought that wasn't enough, this next release further adds on to the Halloween vibes. Nike is releasing the Air Max 97 in this slime oozing colorway. Now I gotta say, these are more subtly themed Halloween sneakers that can be worn casually outside of Halloween. I mean, if I'm being honest, soaking the Skeleton Air Force Ones with so many out there collabs with crazy designs and crazy colorways. Nowadays, you really can't be surprised with what's out there, but these are definitely a lot easier to pull off than the orange skeleton Air Force Ones. And aside from the subtle oozing hits, this sneaker also has a glow-in-the-dark midsole, which is super cool. The Nike Air Max 97 Halloween Slime is releasing on October 28th for 180 US dollars. The Nike Air Max 97 Halloween Slime is releasing on October 28th for 180 US dollars. And although I don't think these are going to be hype, these are a cool shoe nonetheless. Moving on from some crazy spooky designs, the next release we have is a little more tame, a little more practical, we have the Nike Air Force One High Gore-Tex releasing in multiple colorways. These are going to save your feet in the winter and are going to have you looking like a style boat all season. I'm not a fan of the Air Tex on the heel, but we have this upper that's waterproof because Gore-Tex construction, obviously. And the winterized Air Force One traction grippy outsole will keep you on your feet instead of on your cheeks on the ground. The Air Force One High Gore-Tex is releasing on October 28th for 180 US dollars. And while they most likely won't be hype, they will probably sell out relatively quickly. And they're a great pair of shoes for the winter, especially if you love that Air Force one aesthetic. Next up, we have a pair that is going to please some hype boys and potentially some actual basketball players. The next release we're looking at is the Fragment X Air Jordan 35. Now, sneaker insiders have repeatedly claimed that the Air Jordan 35 silhouette made Michael Jordan smile, which obviously means that the last few silhouettes probably didn't make him smile, right? Probably since the Jordan 20. I mean, they didn't really make us smile, right? Unless it was a smile that proceeded with laughter about how they all looked pretty similar. That was a joke. I really love the 33s. That was a sick design. Now with this insider info about Michael Jordan's emotions, coupled with the fact that this sneaker is getting a fragment collab, this is gonna be insane. Being blessed by Hiroshi's signature minimal changes, this sneaker also takes on his previous Jordan 1 collab colorway, the royal white blue color combo. I gotta say, I personally love the way this sneaker looks. It kind of looks like a combination of the 34 and 33, which have personally been my favorite basketball silhouettes from Air Jordan in recent times. The fragment Air Jordan 35 is releasing on October 28th for 195 US dollars. I haven't really looked into where they're releasing here in Canada. I don't know if anyone's even announced it yet. Maybe they have. But either way, these are going to be hype and sell out immediately. Now, this upcoming release is the one that most people are looking forward to this week. And sadly, most likely only like 5%, if not less, are going to get their hands on them. Of course, that includes me too. That release, of course, is the Off-White X Air Jordan 5 in the sale colorway. This sneaker has been teased again and again for almost what feels like a year. Probably not a full year, but almost. Ever since the release of the gray Off-White Jordan 5s, these trailed right behind them as a leak and a rumor. Jordan Brand unveiled a full clothing collection to go with these sneakers and it looks sick with its sale cream tones and the red Air Jordan off-white branding. At this point, I feel like you've probably heard more from me about these and everyone else than you want to, but I will share that I love the holy design worked into the Jordan 5. And by holy, I don't mean spiritual and religious. I mean literally holy. It's got holes in it. Anyway, the sneakers releasing on October 29th for 225 US dollars alongside the full collection. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna sell out. It's gonna be hype. Next up, we have the Nike Overbreak SP releasing this week. I haven't seen many people cover this, understandably so. Regardless, as a fan of what Nike's done with their ISPA silhouettes and their ISPA designs, I wanted to shout this one out. It's basically the ISPA Overreact with a different upper. It's got the brainy, comfortable midsole that I love so much on the ISPA Overreact, but with a more traditional upper that's made of leathers and suede and has regular lacing. I gotta say, they could have chosen a better colorway for this sneaker, but otherwise, these are a cool pair of sneakers if you're actually looking to get something comfortable this week. The Nike Overbreak SP is releasing on October 30th for 140 US dollars. It's gonna be dead in the water, but it's probably the most comfortable sneaker you can get this week. Next up, we have Nike's favorite silhouette right now. It is a dunk. It is a collaboration. We have the Slam Jam X Nike Dunk Highs. They're coming in two colorways. We have the Pure Platinum colorway, which is really just a white gray colorway. It's really clean. Then we have the black and white colorway, which I'm unoriginally calling the Panda colorway. I don't want to harp on these too much. They're a nice collab with simply unique details, such as the single file air holes on the toe box and the side, the alternating colorways on the Panda laces, and the double stack swooshes. The Nike Slam Jam Dunk Highs are releasing on October 30th for 120 US dollars and are going to be hype and are going to sell out immediately. So 
if you want a pair, be prepared. Next up, Adidas and Beyonce are once again dropping another collection. This is their second collection that they're gonna drop, and I gotta say, I enjoyed the first drop better. It was a little more gender neutral, which is good for me. I could actually buy stuff and rock it. This one seems to be a little more female oriented, which is completely fine. It made complete sense. However, the only thing I can really see myself copying is that neon sweatshirt or the neon shorts. But at the same time, it's a little too bright for me, so I most likely won't do that. Either way, this collection is gonna be hype. Most of it is gonna sell out immediately. Some of it might sell out in a few days or in a few hours. Some of it, like very, very little of it might resell, but I don't think it's gonna last very long if it does. The collection is releasing on October 29th on the Adidas app and on the 30th online and in stores. All right, so this next one caught me by surprise. I didn't ever think this would see the light of day, especially not in this day and age. It's been so long since I've heard BBC and ice cream being used in the same sentence, but this week we are getting the BBC X Reebok ice cream question lows. We're getting them in two colorways. If you don't know, BBC is Pharrell Williams clothing line started way back when, and they used to sell pairs of shoes known as BBC ice creams that were sold in shoe boxes that look like tubs of ice cream. It's been forever since that time, but it seems like they've brought the ice cream moniker back for this collab with Reebok. Now, considering this is Reebok, these are going to be sold in severely limited quantities and will probably sell out immediately. The Reebok ice cream question lows are releasing on October 30th for 130 US dollars, and they're going to be mildly hype, but because of the low quantity, they're going to sell out pretty quickly. Once again, we're getting another hotly anticipated sneaker this week. It is the Air Jordan 1 in the dark mocha colorway. Recently, we've seen Nike take the gas off the Air Jordan 1 and apply it instead to the Dunk, but they still like to sprinkle a Jordan 1 here and there, and this time that sprinkle is the dark mocha Jordan 1. I don't think I really need to say much about these other than they look strikingly similar to the Travis Scott Jordan 1s without the reverse swoosh and all the unique details. And of course, it's got the black toe color blocking. I know quite a few people who actually prefer this black toe color blocking as opposed to the all brown suede on the Travis Scott Jordan 1. I kind of like this one too, but the unique details on the Travis Scott 1s kind of trump this. Either way, these are going to be releasing for 160 US dollars on October 31st, and they're going to sell out immediately. They're going to be hype. Next up, we have this very unique Ghostbusters X Reebok Ghost Masher. Now, I know these are called the Ghost Masher, but the silhouette is obviously the alien stomper. Reebok loves doing crazy stuff to this silhouette, and clearly they haven't stopped with this. When I first saw them, for some reason, they reminded me of Buzz Lightyear. And I don't know if the tank on the back has any real purpose to it other than to catch fictional ghosts. It does say pump on it, but I don't know if it has any Reebok pump features. The alien stomper isn't known to have any Reebok pump features, so my guess is, is just branding. I know people have hated on them, but they are a nice shoe for a collector to admire on a shelf. You can take the tank on the back off if you really want to wear them, but in my opinion, they're not that special without it. I personally don't care for them, even though I love Ghostbusters as a kid, but these shoes are releasing on October 31st for 150 US dollars, and I'm guessing they're going to sell out immediately, so I'm going to say they're hype. Up next, we have something that probably comes as no surprise to anybody. We have yet another Yeezy release. It is the Adidas Yeezy 380 Boost in the Calcite Glow colorway. Now, I've personally been done with the Yeezy 350 silhouette for quite a while now. I've just got the Yeezy fatigue, but the Yeezy 380 is a shoe that I actually like quite a bit. I saw my friend wear them and they look pretty sick on feet. To this day, I haven't owned a pair. I know. I'm a sneaker reviewer. What's going on, right? Either way, these look like a super clean shoe, super comfortable, enough said. The Easy 380 Boost Calcite Glow is releasing on October 31st for 230 US dollars and will sell out ASAP. So I'll just say these are hype. Next up, we have an entire collection to top off the list. We have the New Balance Kawaii Jolly Rancher Collection. We've got a bunch of shirts, a pair of slides, three New Balance shoes, most notable being Kawhi's first signature sneaker. They're all adorned with the Jolly Rancher fruits that have the Kawhi deadpan look, which is absolutely hilarious. Now, I can't say what's going to happen to this collection, but what I can say is the slides and the signature sneaker in the colorful colorway will sell out ASAP. This collection is releasing on October 31st. The verdict is still out on them. I'm not really sure, but it's probably going to sell out. So if you want them, be there or be square. That's what we've got for the leaks and releases of this week. Is there something you're looking forward to? Is there something I missed on the list that that you're looking forward to keep in mind you don't have to be buying something to be looking forward to it so let me know down in the comments below that's all i've got for you today i'll catch you in the next one pixelated is having a jolly old time